Oh, it's so great. It is. The opening of that Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, Thursday, Fox is airing a reimagination of the movie, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, musical, classic, camp movie. Ex yes, and yesterday we talked to Victoria Justice about this production. And on Saturday, you can watch the original movie at the Mesa Art Center. Right, in a, in a really big venue with all the callbacks and the toast flying around <laughs> and the spray bottles and the newspapers. If you've ever seen a midnight showing of this, you know that it's like audience participation. And then afterwards, you can actually have a Q&A with Barry Bostwick, the original Brad. How cool is this? In Rocky Horror. And guess who's here live? Here's Barry. Barry, great to see you. Thanks so much for being here this morning. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. Let's all do the time warp again. Uh, let's, let's, let's I never learned it, so you're going to have to teach it to me, all right? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Did you ever imagine when you were doing this production, and this low-budget production, that you'd be talking about it 40 years later? No. You know, uh, Richard O'Brien talked said it was like this it was like this cheap uh, tat of rock and roll. It was it was such a low-budget film. It was um uh, it was just people, though, with amazing talent, all the way from costume designers to set designers to d definitely the, ph the photography in it. And the, it, it just it has a vibrancy and a life. And obviously, the themes of it are have carried over for 41 plus years. Um, uh, the answer to your question? No. Who could? Cult movies didn't really exist until Rocky Horror came mm, on the scene. Right. But how cool something though like this to have been a part of it and still be a part of it to have exceeded everybody's expectations and now all these younger generations are in love with it and then to I think you know the the best um, sort of thing that could happen is to have these reboots come about, like the one that we're airing here on Fox on Thursday, so all these young people get to see it in a different light. You know, what do you think of that, the new one? No, I, I agree. I think it's going to be exciting. I'm, uh, and I'm, I'm excited for the, just to see the entertainment of it and the, and the, uh, the new talent that's involved with it. Um, I haven't seen it yet, and, um, and I know that it, it, it will pull in a whole new generation that maybe don't want to go to the theater and, uh, you know, be sprayed with uh, water and be hit in the face <laughs> with hot dogs. <laughs> do you ever go, I mean, I, I'd imagine it gets old for you, but do you ever go to those midnight showings and, and partake in any of that? Uh, uh, the, the, no. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I, 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 I do some comic cons occasionally and oh, yeah. will host uh, a screening of it. And, uh, you know, I, either myself or Patricia Quinn, who played Magenta or Little Nell, the three of us, or Meatloaf will be there and uh, we'll talk to the audience, we'll uh, harangue the audience, we will embarrass the audience, and then we will go back to our room and get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like that a party. That sounds fun. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. So tell yeah. us what yeah. um, we can expect uh, with your connection with the Mesa Art Center, with what you're doing here. I mean, a Q&A with you, that's a big deal. That's pretty cool. Well, I, I, I guess if, if the questions are good, the yeah. answers will be somewhat, <laughs> somewhat intelligent. Um, you know, I think I have a line in this thing when I you first come into the castle. I, I said to Janet, it's just a party, Janet. And that's basically what we're trying to recreate here is, is that party atmosphere that happened when this thing first started in New York at the Waverly 35 something years ago and it grew into this happening and I think we're trying to uh, keep that alive and uh, uh, we're going to be quite successful. There'll be costume contests and uh, I think we'll bring the virgins up on stage. I mean the virgins, nice. you know, uh, for, for the show. Yeah, I got what you and, meant. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, I, and I think we will, uh, we have a um, Frankie's Fishnets, uh, a, a shadow cast there in Mesa, will we'll perform uh, the show live in front of the, sh the movie. And uh, they're very, very good. They're excellent. And um, a lot of personalities and uh, get and get your your props right learn your lines okay. this is but you There's have a lot of responsibility yeah. Oh, yeah we've got a lot you of have a lot of <laughs> well you're part of the deal you know i mean you guys have you guys have taken over this movie and it's become yours and you've actually changed the meaning of much of the film by uh, you know, yelling obscenities at us, and um, <laughs> um, and I have no problem with that, actually. <laughs> uh, 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 
Barry, thank Don't you bring so your 11-year-old, okay? Yeah. No, that's okay. a totally yeah. adult thing. It totally Got is. It. Good advice. <laughs> Barry, so great talking with you. But, but, and you, you're going to love the Mesa Amphitheater. It's a beautiful venue, nice big theater, and that's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for um, talking to me about oh, this. We, Come and see me. Come and see me. We oh, will. No. Fish, you, have your fish, you have your fishnets and your bustier and your high I'm heels. I'm sure she so. has all of those things. Barry, who doesn't have a bustier <laughs> and fishnets? I mean, you're not living. <laughs> <laughs> I still got him. I bet you do. I still got him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Have a good one. We'll Great see you when you get you. to town. Take yeah. care. Thanks. Thanks. What bye a cool bye. guy. So cool. Yeah.